right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over another story or post, if you will, titled, Am I the A-hole for confirming to my daughter why my ex and I divorced? And guys, this story, it's from the, the husband or her father's perspective. It's about a guy who uh, pretty much one day his wife told him, like many of these stories go, that she wants to have an open relationship or open marriage. And she did it for BS reason, like uh, she said that she just somehow just figured out that she's really non-monogamous and she feels stifled, being trapped in a marriage, not being able to express herself. Translation, I feel trapped because I can't go out and get sausage left and right like all my girlfriends are, or like what I read about online or something like that. But this guy, unlike a lot of other guys in these stories, says, uh-uh, not happening. We're not going for it. And they end up divorcing. And the sad thing is, is that they had a couple kids, and obviously the kids didn't take it too well. But the husband, for reasons I can't quite understand, agreed to uh, not tell the kids the real reason why they got the divorce, because the kids were still young teenagers and all that, and he didn't want to hurt them, even though it's the wife who torpedoed the marriage. Well, years later, one thing leads to another, and the daughter finds out the real reason why. And as you can probably imagine, she's really hurt by this whole thing. And this guy, when she, she found, you're going to see what happens here. And he's going to confirm this because he doesn't want to lie to his daughter. And to no surprise, guess who's blaming him because the kids don't want to talk to her? The ex-wife. And her whole family's hating on him, even though, even though she's the one who ruined the marriage, right? So this whole, this whole thing is going to go about a lot of lessons here about reconfirming the whole women and accountability. There's no accountability here. He's the bad guy. He's the one that ruined the marriage, right? Even though it was her who wanted this whole thing in the first place. Um, the Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 world we're in right now, as I like to call it, because, uh, again, you can't be a strong, empowered gal nowadays unless you get to have an open marriage, open relationship, and get sausage from every dude in town. Okay, and a lot of other little things I'm going to point out along the way here. But what I do like about this is this guy was strong and said, no way. No open marriage, not happening, uh-uh. Which, sadly, a lot of guys don't do if you guys watch a lot of my uh, videos because they're just terrified of being alone or something like that. And just with the, when, the, when the gal brings that up, it's done. Move on. So, starts off, he says, uh, this is a rough situation where everyone loses, I think. My ex and I divorced three years ago. I thought everything was fine. How many guys say that? Oh, everything was great. We had a great marriage, blah, blah, blah. And then she brings up the open relationship. I thought everything was fine, but she raised the possibility of an open relationship. And I didn't want that. That was a deal breaker for her because she says she figured out that she's non-monogamous by nature and felt stifled by not being able to express it. She figured it out like she was sitting around doing some problem solving on her way to work in traffic one morning. She just figured it out. No, what happened is probably her friends were talking about it. She's probably reading about it in magazines or online. And, oh, you can do that too. Or some bullshit like that. Or there's a guy that she really likes that maybe uh, either she's talking to or maybe something's going on. So she essentially wants permission to obviously hook up with him and therefore it's not cheating. And was probably hoping that this guy would go along with it. And surprise, surprise, he didn't. And give me a break with this uh, feeling stifled but not being able to express it. You entered in the holy bond of matrimony, if you will. <clears throat> and that means you are true to your husband, as your husband is true to you. And I'm willing to bet you this guy was. But again, nowadays, thanks to the Ephesus movement and the S-word revolution that came from the Ephesus movement, that you can't be strong and empowered. And it's, this, this type of bullshit's almost encouraged. One of the many, many reasons why I encourage guys not to get married here nowadays in the 2020s. Anyhow, he says, uh, I offered to go to counseling with her about it, but I just don't want to be married to someone who isn't faithful. So we split up and the kids who are 18 now, 18 and 16 now, but they were 15 and 13 at the time, and did not take it well, especially my daughter. Those poor kids. Yeah, it'd be one thing if there was generally something really bad in the relationship, because he thought this relationship was fine right? Which a lot of guys do, and they're completely clueless about how it's going. But no, it's because she just wanted to get some freaking sausage. That's why. And now the kids have to suffer because of this. But ultimately, this woman is a selfish a-hole. So looking back, obviously, it's a blessing this guy's no longer with her, because she would have cheated eventually if she wasn't doing it already. 
My ex insisted that we not tell the kids about her being Polly and that being the, the cause of the breakup because she wasn't ready to be out. So we had to couch the divorce as just not being happy or compatible with each other. Translation, she doesn't want to have be the one blamed for the one ruining the marriage because she is the one that ruined the marriage. Okay, It's just easy to say, oh, we weren't compatible or something like that. And that's her way of twisting it around because like, technically speaking, he wasn't on board with being open, open marriage, open relationship. Therefore, we're not compatible. Bunch of crap like that. So therefore, then, the kids can all equally be uh, upset with both me, the mother, and the father, even though it's not his fault. Very slick. My daughter has always been very sharp, and she got stuck on the uh, whys of the breakup because it didn't make sense to her. We put, we put the kids in therapy and tried to keep the divorce as painless as possible, but my daughter really took it hard and is an angrier person as a result of it, and it breaks my heart. My ex has agreed to not expose the kids to her lifestyle until they're both 18 at least, but my daughter figured out that she was dating and their relationship has suffered. Sounds like uh, the daughter is definitely no dummy. It wasn't buying it. Probably because the daughter... You know, at that point, she was 16 and probably very observant to what's going on and everything like that. But that's sad. The kids had to go to therapy because of mom's selfish actions. Uh, my daughter went to college this year, but I got a text from her a couple weekends ago asking to come to my place for the weekend to talk about something. And of course, I said yes. It turns out that her mom had posted about her situation and divorce in a poly group on Facebook, and someone sent my daughter a screenshot. Oh, man. That poor girl. You know, for the woman who doesn't want uh, this to be out, as she said, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be posting your dirty laundry on social media like Facebook because someone's going to see this. Someone's going to uh, find out about it. And her daughter found out this in the worst possible way. Even though it would be hard for the daughter to hear from the parents, it's better that the daughter, the kid would hear about this from them, from the horse's mouth, as opposed to having somebody send it to our line, going through all that embarrassment and shock and all that. The mother is a freaking asshole. It turns out that her mom posted the thing on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. My daughter asked if this was right and the real reason that we got divorced. At that point, the cat is out of the bag and I'm not going to lie to my kid's face. So I said yes. She has some follow-up questions about why we didn't uh, tell the truth, etc. I asked her not to tell her brother due to our agreements and she said no. He deserves to know what mom is really like. You're darn right, because at this point, the boy is older, and, you know, in my opinion, I'm not a parent, but I was a kid once. It's always best to tell your kids the truth. Let your kids know that no matter what you tell them, they may not like it, but at least they know you're being honest with them, okay? Because if your kids don't trust you, it's just a really bad bad place to be, both your relationship as a parent to your kids and for the kid's point of view. So now the girl has trust issues with the father, unfortunately, and he went along with this bullshit because of the mom, right? And that's a shame because he's a good guy. He made a mistake there. That wasn't that was a boneheaded move. But uh, now look what happens. So it's a big mess. Both the kids are angry with their mom and won't see or talk to her. Well, ha ha to her. My ex is losing her mind at me over it, and her family is pissed because they think I caused it by not saying it was a hoax. I don't know who sent the screenshot or why. But they kicked over a major hornet's nest. I guess I broke the agreement. I just didn't want to lie to my kid with the evidence right on the table. So again, back to the accountability thing. She's the reason the marriage ended. She's the dumbass that put the stuff on social media for the world to see and discover. And yet the daughter find, finds out about this because someone sent her the message. And this guy, when she point blank asked him and had the evidence right there, he didn't want to lie to her anymore. He told her the truth, even though she didn't like it. And now the mom's blaming him. Again, back to the women and accountability thing. And even yet, her family are blaming him. It's like, you've got to be shitting me. Why, why, why doesn't the family look at their daughter or whoever, whatever relationship they have to her, say, you're the one that ended it because of this thing. You're the one that posted this online and your daughter found out about it. So this is your own boneheaded fault. Nope. It's easier to blame the man and to have him be blamed because the kids aren't talking to her, don't want to see her. That's a shame. It's a shame not for her, but it's a shame for him. And he says, a quick uh, edit, he says, a few people said to include this in the comment. I think it boils down to the way my ex worded the post and how she how that looks in light of some of my ex's decisions in the divorce. She pretty explicitly framed her family as an inconvenience to being poly, and she refused joint custody and rescheduled her weekends often. So the kids feel like she doesn't even want to see them and only cares about herself. 
Ah, how interesting. So not only did mom end the marriage because she, she wanted to get some freaking sausage, but also she gave the custody to the uh, husband. It's usually the other way around. So that way then she can be free, a free spirit, and do whatever she wants with every dude she could possibly come to cross. So now the kids are like, so you, you get joint custody of us, our mom, just so you can go get some dick. I mean, she made her bed, now she's lying in it. So with regards to that, guys, I got to tell you, once again, this confirms what I say, Sodom Gomorrah 2.0. And where's it come from? The Ephesus movement, which has decimated uh, traditional values, old-fashioned type of things like that. Nuclear family, that is just going the way of the dodo more and more every day. And it's really sad. I mean, I have yet to come across a story. Perhaps someone sent me a story about a dude that proposed an open relationship of marriage. Every one of these go, these happen. These guys have no interest in that. They're happy with their family, their kids, all that. Or at the very least, content enough. But it's always the, the mothers, the wives that bring this up. And most of the time, the guys go along with this. So thank God for this guy. He's out of the picture. And that's great that he got the kids, too. Because I'm assuming you can't go back on that once that is established that he gets the full custody. Also, back to the whole no accountability thing. Right, right there. Two different instances. Yep, no accountability. But in my opinion, he was very he was he made the right thing that it was the right thing to do to be honest with your kids. And again, the girl's gonna be upset with him for a while for not telling her initially, but she will be happy at least he was honest with her right then and there. You know, and then the younger brothers certainly know at this point. I mean, for goodness sake, at 16 years old, boys know more now than a lot of us knew. Even kids know more at a younger age now than they, than I knew when I was younger, and I knew things quite pretty early on as well. You always heard these things on the bus and things like that. But uh, anyhow, guys, I'm going to go through a few comments here to show that I'm not alone in this thinking. Uh, one guy says here, he says, uh, your ex said she didn't want to put it out yet. So she, she should have been more cautious. I get, needing, I get needing support, but if she didn't want it reaching back to her, she should have made, shouldn't have made an alternate account for the sake of her privacy. This is not on you. It was a kindness to agree not to be straightforward with the kids for her sake. She basically shit all over it going around and posting it online. As if teenagers don't use the internet or social media. Exactly. This is entirely on her. You agreed not to tell the kids. You didn't. Your daughter found out and asked you if it's true. You never agreed to that, to that lie and lie to your daughter's face and destroy her trust in you so your ex could avoid blame. Everyone's getting on your case about this can kick rocks for wanting you, you to hurt your daughter and your relationship with her. Exactly. Why on God's green earth did she put it online if she didn't want to be found out? But again, attention and validation. And this woman is obviously extremely selfish, extremely narcissistic, doesn't give a crap about anybody else but her. I mean, again, he got the full custody of the kids. She, she wanted that much of freedom that she had to go kids live with the father. Now the guy says, uh, not the a-hole. You did the right thing for your daughter. Being the child of divorced parents, I know how the situation your daughter was in very well. It's terrible when you know you aren't being told the real reason the divorce and you know you're being lied to. It took me 20 years to find out the real reason, feeling all along I wasn't being told the truth. It was a huge relief to finally know the truth. Glad your daughter figured it out sooner. Right. Better that your kids can trust you 100% that you're going to be honest with them, even if they don't like hearing it, than you tell them what they want to hear, and they're always kind of suspicious, not quite sure if they can trust you. Kids got to be able to trust their parents. End of story. <clears throat> Another guy says, uh, not the A-hell. You held your end of the deal by not telling her. She found it by other means and wanted clarification from you. I think it's pretty indicative of your, wife's, your ex-wife's behavior to want you to lie to your kids and be okay with that. Well, that's probably her trying to set him up that way to make her look better when necessary. If she is poly and you're not compatible, that is fair enough, but she should have been more careful if she does not want them to know about it. She made the error herself. She made the error herself in that move online, but she also made the error of torpedoing a marriage because she wanted to get a bunch of sausage. And guarantee you down the road, she'll probably, when she probably gets older, We'll probably come crying to him looking for a second chance when uh, her prospects dry up and, well, other things dry up and uh, has no other options. And last one, a uh, guy says, uh, not the a-hole. Your daughter asked, lying to her face, especially as she would have known you were lying, would have made it worse. Then she'd have two parents who she can't trust, to be honest with her. Exactly. She, she, she's going to be angry with this guy for a little while. Don't get me wrong. But in the end, and she's obviously going to ask more questions. I'm sure this guy's going to say, okay, here's what happened. 
She wanted to open up the marriage, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, we're a family. She, she wouldn't budge. Therefore, she wanted to end it. And more yet, she wanted me to have full custody. So obviously she can go out and have her fun. But, and I shouldn't have said that to you, but anyhow, I'm telling you the truth now. So he'll be able to rebuild the trust of the daughter. It may take a little time, but it will. But with the mother, pfft. So the mother's getting exactly what she deserves. But she's a lousy mother. She doesn't deserve to have those, those kids in her life. It's just a total selfish asshole. But again, look what we have nowadays. How many, how many of you guys have seen or know stories of mothers, right? 30s, 40s, 50s even, putting themselves on... Instagram, TikTok, OnlyFans, showing everything you can imagine and more to get attention and validation. I mean, what kind of example are you setting for your kids? You know, and imagine if your kids' friends, by the time they're teenagers, find these pictures, find these videos. You know, was it how embarrassing that is for the kid? These gals can't they need that attention and validation so badly that 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 reinforcement that oh you're still beautiful and oh you're still attractive they got to go do all these things. And set your set your children up to be embarrassed, like what we got here. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely pathetic. But I say all the time, you know, the gals' attention and validation is like a drug, and like a plant, they can't a plant can't function without uh, water and sunlight. And it's pretty much the same thing with validation and attention for the gals, especially nowadays when you got a generation now that pretty much have been conditioned from birth about social media, and you pretty and always on it, and it becomes almost like an asset and a status symbol. They're how many followers they have on Instagram and how many views they get on TikTok, whatever the hell it is, you know. It's crazy. So, again, Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 world. All right, guys, that is it for today. That would be an interesting one to go over here. Again, the whole lesson about accountability and the whole crazy open marriage thing. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And also, guys, you come across a really good article, story, or personal story, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. And uh, make sure when you write out your story, write it out really well. Make it easy for me to read. That way I can definitely crank these things out. And the more you send me, the more I can get more videos done every day. I mean, I'm doing two, sometimes three videos a day between this channel and my other channel, They Did What. And also, guys, be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram or local, Strong Successful Mail. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.